What's up, chicas? Welcome back to my channel. Today's video, we are going to be testing out and we are going to be reviewing, of course, the new Anastasia and Norvina palette. I took it to the polls on my Instagram page and I asked if you guys wanted to see a tutorial slash review on this palette. And yeah, most of you said yes. <laughs> I thought many of you were going to pass on it. Like I had my thoughts. I was very on the fence of whether I would do a review on this palette or not, but you guys wanted to see it, so I am here to deliver. Your wish is my command. <laughs> so guys, before we get into the tutorial and review and my thoughts on this palette, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. You don't want to go without subscribing. I'm Frances Michelle. I'm trying to be make you make videos more often for you guys if you guys are new to my channel i have to say welcome to my channel i am francis i am pregnant i am 24 weeks pregnant so it's kind of hard for me to make videos right now <laughs> but i'm really stoked really excited that you decided to click on this video and watch this video i feel like my reviews are non-pr related because like i've always say i'm not in their pr list so i don't have to suck ass I don't need to suck up to anybody so so you guys want to see my thoughts and you guys want to see a little bit more of how I achieved this look using Anastasia Beverly Hills palette then all you have to do is keep on watching all right guys so let's start off with talking about the palette before we jump into the tutorial so here is the uh, packaging it's Norvina, it says Norvina, of course. It's normal packaging, like all her standard um, sh uh, palettes. And in the back, you kind of have a picture of what the colors look like. And it says Norvina, and it's Anastasia, and of course, it's purple because she's like the purple queen. So when you get her out of the box, you uh, get the Norvina palette. And it is the standard size palette from um, Anastasia. It's nothing different. Everything is the same, as you can see. Um, it is that. It is that velvety feel that for me is a no-go when it comes to makeup palettes because they tend to get really, really dirty and it's not easy to clean it. So that velvety feel for me, um, when it comes to eyeshadow palettes, I feel like it's just a very waste of product, waste of material because honestly speaking, you're going to get it dirty. It's going to get dirty. It is makeup. So... Um, in the back, we just have that little sticker. I did notice that um, her other palettes had um, the huge sticker in the back, and it says the name of the palette, and then it has cut sort of more information about the palette. This one sort of has like just a very tiny um, distributed by Anastasia Incorporation. Um, so when you open her up, this is what she looks like. Oh, there she is. So this palette has the standard 14 um, shades. But this one right here, instead of having a mixture of uh, shimmers and mattes, it actually has seven shimmers and seven mattes. So all the top part is that shimmery, beautiful colors, and then all the seven ones in the bottoms are mattes. So as usual, it comes, of course, with the, um, the standard eyeshadow dual eyeshadow brush. Um, you have the fluffy side blending brush on one side, and then on the other side, we have that... Um, shader flat shader brush and of course it comes with the large mirror as you guys can see so this is what she looks like up close and personal for me is a very cool tone type of shadow it ranges for $42 it's available at Ulta Beauty UltaBeauty.com and as well as Anastasia Beverly Hills um so for me honestly speaking it is a cool tone so it's gonna be it was it's gonna be it was kind of a challenge to <laughs> create this look for you guys, to be honest. It was the challenge of a lifetime. <laughs> but you guys will definitely see a little bit more into my thoughts on how, what I think of the shadows, how they blend, and what is their pigmentation and all of that. So I'm just going to do a quick swatches for you guys, and then we're just going to go ahead and jump into the eye tutorial and then my last thoughts on the palette. Okay, guys, so we're going to go ahead and jump into the eyes right now. Um, let's go ahead and test this baby out. And as you guys see, 
I have half of my face already done, prepped, because it's just a tutorial slash review, all of that, all in one. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to go ahead and open her up. You guys already seen how beautiful she is. We did a couple of swatches already for you guys, so you guys already know what it looks like. So let's go ahead and dive in. I'm going to go in with the color Love, which is this one right here. It's like that light pink shade. Whoa. Whoa. Yo. Yo. Can you see that though? Like, can you see that? Alright, so I'm just going to be applying that color Love on my crease and I'm just going to be blending back and forth until everything is fully blended on both of my eyes. Okay guys, <clears throat> so now we're going to go ahead and go in with the shimmery color. I'm going to go ahead and use the color Celestial, which is that beautiful purple right here. Celestial. I think I'm going to go between Celestial and Rose Gold. I'm going to do a combination of both and see how it turns out. And I'm actually going to be using the other side of her brush to pack on that color. Okay guys, so I'm going to do a mix of other three more colors onto my eyes. We are going to use this color right here, the darker purple on the corner, which is called Drama. This one right here. Then I'm going to blend it on my crease with this color here that is called a Passion. And then we're going to do a little bit of the light pink one right here on the inner corners of the eye. I don't know, this one here is not blending very well together. It looks nice on camera, but together, like on pics, on like really, if I really get close to it, it looks very patchy though. Like it's not allowing the colors to truly look to well together. Maybe I should have just not done three color, three shimmer colors on the light and the lid. Because for me, they don't seem like they are blending well together. They're not looking like they look well blended together and all that. I, I don't know. I don't like it, guys. I really don't like the look. I'm trying to sit here and look. And honestly, it's just small patches of the shadow. Like, it's not fully pigmented. It's not fully, like staying on my eyelid you know what i'm saying i feel like everything is staying on the brush and it's not giving me anything on my eye like nothing it's not blending well it's not giving me and then i try picking up that pink shade the light pink shade on the corner to sort of give it a little um and i feel like it's not showing up and it's not doing anything this has never happened with any eyeshadow, guys. Like, it might look good on camera, but it looks a disaster on person. Like, legit looks a disaster on person. I look. Like, I can't tell you that I have colors on it because the purple is just gone. Literally gone. You can't see the pink. And then the dark color is the only one that's, like, kind of standing out. But like, seriously, there's like no shimmer here. I feel like wiping this part off and starting over because I have nothing. Like there's no purple shadow like on my eyelid. Um, and I did prep my eyelid, I prepped everything. The matte color did pay off very nicely on my eyes. Like the pink shade paid off nicely. But all the shimmer colors, as of right now, they are a true mess 
on my lid. I'm gonna go over everything because I'm not about to wipe everything off. So I'm just gonna go over everything with the rose gold color here. Let's see how that rose gold looks. I mean, the rose gold kind of paid off a little bit better, guys. Um, you can still you can see the true color completely on the whole eye. Like you can definitely see the whole rose gold. The amount of fallout I have right down here, it's no joke. It's super dark. All the purple, everything is really hanging out on my baking part. All right, so I'm gonna do the same thing I always do on the top to the bottom part of my eye. So we're, I'm just gonna go ahead and grab that. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and grab that love color together with the passion color, and that's what I'm gonna do on my bottom lash line. All right, guys. So I'm gonna go ahead and move on to liner and lashes. I do want to. I do want to show you guys that I'm going to try to do a different color liner for this look. I'm going to go in with a more light. I'm going to go in with like a light. Pur I was thinking to do either a light purple or like just pink maybe. As you do Just as you would a regular liner to be honest. I recommend using a very matte liquid lipstick so it'll dry off and you won't have problems with it like melting off or like transferring. Guys, I really wish this shadow was working. This eyeshadow palette was working the way I thought it would. So I wanted to give you like a nice pink, purpley color, but it's not happening. All right, so I'm gonna just go ahead and work on my liner on both eyes, and I'm gonna go ahead and pop in some lashes because I need to somehow or some way, some way or whatever, I need to kind of make this look more presentable and I feel like lashes kind of tend to hide a little bit. It's a mess of colors in my eyes. So I'm just gonna try to fix it up a little bit. I'm gonna add, I'm gonna try to, I'm gonna finish my eyeliner on the other side and I'm gonna pop the lashes. I'm gonna be using the Lily Lashes in Miami because I feel like this look needs um, something dramatic and intense and then we'll be back to finish my thoughts and finish everything and put everything together. Okay guys, so this is the final look I came up with. Um, I tried to blend everything as I could. I, like I said, I apply lashes because I see, I think lashes kind of make everything look way better. Um, but yeah, let me just tell you what I used on my face. Um, I used a contour. Um, then I used a light, like a light mauve pink uh, blush from Stilazi Bahamas palette and then I use my highlight as you see my highlight it's of course I decided to use the Anastasia and Nicole Guerrero um, palette and I I kind of went back between forever lit and forever young which are the pink and the white so that's why you see like a white um, highlight whatever I thought it would match perfectly with the purpley look and whatever and for my lips I use um, I use a NYX um, lip liner in color purple rain to outline my lips and for the lipstick I use the Anastasia Beverly Hills um, liquid lipstick in the color <sighs> when you hit hit 30 sub lilac so I have sub lilac on my lips and yeah so that kind of gets kind of brings in the color together and let me just do my thing. I go anywhere anywhere with you Cause you feel my mind, or oh, you feel my mind. We could build a dream, start up something new. Let the old be dead, let the shadows be my head. When the world is on your shoulders and you feel like falling over, just come a little closer. I'll be there for you, I'll be there for you. Cause when we are together, I know you feel the tension. Just let me in your head so I can be there for you, there for you. The night is young, won't you sing for me, won't you sing for me. Hey guys, so to summarize my thoughts on this palette, um, to be honest, uh, like I said when I was applying the shadows, I felt like it wasn't really picking up the color and placing it on my lids. I felt like um, 
it started off nicely and then as I went applying other shadows on top or like I wanted to build it a little bit more I felt like the more I built it the font the the colors on my eyelid the worse it got I had a lot of fallouts I had to go back in there and clean up and retouch my bottom part of my um, concealer because it had like a lot of fallout I feel like honestly speaking um I feel like the two colors that I kind of tried using to kind of do like a more a soft color was the that celestial and that wild child kind of didn't like whatsoever like it did not like I'm very disappointed honestly on the quality of those I actually ended up kind of showing my husband kind of how it looks and it looks beautiful once you use your finger and everything but if you keep like applying pressure on top it kind of starts falling out so and it's like if you start using it to like kind of apply a little bit more and a little bit more it kind of starts falling out and it doesn't like stay put like I feel like it didn't pick up the product well and applied it and left it there I felt like the more I applied it to kind of build it up the more it kept falling and the less it showed up and also that wild child if you swatch them they do look beautiful once you swatch them as you can see a little bit there on my arm Ugh. let me see how can I do this there you go no you can see it a little you can see a little bit on my arm. Um, it's still not showing as as intense as I would love to, for it to show it on my on my eyes. When I went back in there and I used the color rose gold, the rose gold kind of saved the day. To be honest, that rose gold just beautiful. It blended beautifully and it showed perfectly, and it had no fallout of this one whatsoever. So I thought that that was a beautiful color. Um, my overall opinion is that honestly it has beautiful shades but if you see it it's very hard for you to kind of get matte colors to blend it and make a look we're used to having like match matte colors and shimmer colors to kind of blend together maybe like if you have a uh excuse me if you have like a teal color then you have like a te uh, terracotta shade um, or a brown shade or a light or a lighter blue sort of like a matte that matches the shimmer to kind of like blend it and transition it and make it look better all right let me see if you guys get what I'm saying so let me bring out the subculture palette the subculture palette I feel like every color you have in here kind of blends together perfectly um this one kind of you're gonna use that gold color here you can blend it with either that mustard that yellow color that brown that green that um uh, it's like a burgundy color you kind of mix you can mix all of them together and you can create a look or you can go with either a very light or very smoky eye you can just use the browns that she has or greens there's two different type of greens and then there's the mustardy one so you see what I'm saying? You kind of make, can make a, a look together using the palette. With this palette, yes, you can create a look, but I feel like it's a more artistic side. Like, use that purple with that purple. Well, actually, like a bluish purple color. Use that bluish with a pink or use this mustard with the rose gold. So it's kind of more artistic. I feel like if you're not into artistic makeup, it's going to be a little hard for you to blend the palette together. I saw myself kind of wanting to go to another palette and see if I can find a matte shade that I can kind of blend everything together and make it look like one. So that's that's kind of my thoughts on it when I first like right off the bat looked at it. Colors are beautifully. Um, I feel like you can match those shimmers with other matte colors that you have that can probably work well together. Like I said, if you are not into cool tones and you don't have that artistic side on you, like, okay, I'm not going to be sitting here trying to mix colors that are not normal to be together um, because that's not who I am. Then honestly speaking, you can pass on the palette. I was expecting a little bit more. I was expecting more. I was expecting a wow. I was expecting, you know, it is Norvina. Um, it is Anastasia. But honestly speaking, um, they're not going to create a product that is going to suit everybody. Honestly speaking. Like, it's rare that a palette suits everyone. Like, for me, Modern Renaissance was right up my alley. Like, I loved it. But there was people who said, no, I'm more of a cool tone kind of girl. So, they're not going to create a palette that is going to be like, for everybody. But... 
Um, I felt like, honestly speaking, this one could have probably used a little bit of a different range of colors. Like, maybe the sh shimmers would be fine, but maybe the, the ones on the bottom, maybe you could have... I don't know. I just feel like they don't mix. They don't match. That's, like, my thoughts on it, honestly speaking. So... To wrap it up, honestly speaking, um, would I be using it again? Uh, I don't think so. <laughs> Maybe I can create, uh, we'll try to create a dark, um, a warm tone look for you guys using this palette rather than a cool tone because this palette, it is a cool tone palette. But um, I'm trying to look at myself in the mirror because I, I'm in the monitor because I'm just not happy with the churn out of the eye. <laughs> my opinion, this is my opinion always, I feel like I will pass on it. I feel like I won't probably use it again. And it's just gonna be for me a waste of $42 because it wasn't 30, it wasn't an inexpensive palette. It is an expensive palette, it's a $42 palette. Now hopefully I gave you enough information to be honest when it comes to the palette. It is available now at Ulta stores and ultabeauty.com and as well as um Anastas and as well as Anastasia Beverly Hills .com. Um so yeah guys I really hope you enjoy the video. I really hope that I was able to bring forward um some information in regards to the Norvina palette. Um like I said I wish I I, I I wish I would have loved it to be honest because I am an Anastasia Beverly Hills freak. Like I really really love most of the products that I've owned from them. But honestly the Norvina palette is not for me. So anyways, guys, if you liked the video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Don't go without subscribing to my channel. And as usual, my social media sites are all down below. You can follow me and we can become best friends. So thank you so much for your love. Thank you so much for your support. Thank you for sticking till the end. Muchos besos. I'll see you ladies on my following video. Adios.